Okay, this is one of the Chinese diesel heaters and it's here in my uh, workshop. It's only a small garage space. Um, and basically this, this heater is too good or too powerful, I should say, for my workshop. So even in auto mode, it's in auto mode here at 16 degrees, it's freezing cold outside. So I'd love to give you an excellent example, but I can't at the moment, I've only just turned it on. Even at 16 degrees, certainly on a not freezing day, it won't hold it at 16 degrees. All it will do is when it gets to 16 degrees or just above, it will put it onto setting one and even setting one is too high for this workshop and it will still get up to like 23, 24, 25 degrees instead of turning the unit off which obviously is wasting fuel. So what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to clone the little fob and we're on an Arduino and hopefully be able to get the Arduino to use the fob and RF signal to knock this thing off and knock it on, um, acting as a thermostat. Hopefully we can get it some other cool features like measuring how much fuel is in the tank and even online as well so that we can uh, knock it on and off via an app on our phone. Okay, so that's the new fuel tank, um, and that's the fuel level sensor. And then I've just got some new uh, fuel line, and we're going to hook it up now to the heater. So I'll just show you what this consists of. It's a two-line display, sixteen by two display. Um, it's got the main board is the ESP32 uh, and then the obviously major component is the um, RF transmitter. So that's the RF transmitter. And then you've also got a uh, temperature probe which I'll put on the screen now. Um, the temperature probe is on a uh, large line and that's actually just dangling down at the moment in the middle of a workshop. And the longer the line, the better. So hopefully I could get a temperature then from the middle of the workshop rather than right next to the heater, which is obviously always going to be um, quite warm. And then the oh, <laughs> then the second second part is the uh, float sensor for the for the fuel gauge, which I'll pop on the screen now. So the ESP32 connects via Wi-Fi, which means that the whole system is controlled via this app on your mobile phone. There's an on-off button up at the top, which totally disables the thermostat if you don't want to use it. And then there's a temperature gauge and also a fuel gauge. The slider below the gauges allows you to set the temperature. And then rather than constantly turning the heater on and off above and below that value, there is a buffer value. And that means that if the set temperature in the example here is 19 degrees, it won't actually turn the heater on until it gets four degrees below that, just so that the heater isn't constantly coming on and off. Blink also allows you to data log for up to a week with a free account or a month for the paid account. And you can see here that the heater's working as the temperature keeps going up and down as it's coming on and off. So I can see on the monitor that it's just counted that it's got one below the temperature, set temperature. And it is actually now sending the on signal. And it's sent that now five times and it has not come on. Like I say, the range on this is pretty poor. And there we go, it's just got it. So that actually took it about 25 attempts at sending the RF signal, but it always gets it. Now what's interesting and in my code at the moment is it doesn't know, of course, there's no feedback saying that the start, the, the motor has actually, or the heater, sorry, I should say, has kicked in. So it will just keep sending that on signal. But again, one of the nice things I've noticed about this uh, these heaters, heaters is that it doesn't care. It just ignores any future on signals from this point. So in actual fact, there's no problem really with it, um, with, with it actually receiving multiple on signals from this point once it's been shut, shut on. And in some ways, it, it just ensures that it definitely is on. So obviously that'll boot up now and, uh, and start heating up. So for anybody that is interested in the code, it uses the Blink uh, backbone and then it uses one wire library and that's just for um, the temperature sensor. It also uses uh, the RC switch for the RF signal sending uh, and obviously the liquid crystal display for the LCD. Um, 
it connects, like I say, wirelessly to your internet uh, or to your Wi-Fi. Um, there's a whole host of variables that I've put in here. My coding is definitely not very good, by the way, so I'm sure there's much better ways of doing this. Um, it uses millis uh, instead of a delay, so that there's there's no delay signal. One of the things that you have to do is you actually have to uh, use your remote that comes with it, your fob that comes with the heater, to actually detect the on and off signal. Um, so if there is an interest for people actually using this themselves, I'll try and incorporate a, uh, a system where it will actually, I'll obviously have to fit the uh, receiver in it, which actually is that module there. So if I fit the receiver in it, once you've actually captured it, of course, you don't need your receiver. But if I uh, fit the receiver module in, then that will allow you to catch this area here, which is actually the on and off signal that's uh, being used by your fob. Uh, it allows you to uh, set your temperature ranges, just initial boot up really, um, starts the LCD. It then uh, sets some timers, so it, it blink works in a, in a way where you shouldn't have anything in the main loop. So really all these timers are just being set up. Uh, so for example, every five seconds, the main monitor is actually checking its temperature, sending its temperature. Fuel's only being checked every 20 seconds. It's refreshing the LCD every, every three seconds. Um, these are all the Blink virtual ports or virtual pins uh, sending data back to the Blink app. Um, and then I've tried to keep it as, like I say, I'm really not into programming uh, properly, so I'm sure there's much cleaner ways of doing this, but I've tried to keep everything nice and separate. So there's a, a write, a, a section where you are reading the thermostat, uh, a section where you're looking at the temperature range and setting the temperature, a section or a function where you're printing to the LCD, a function for sensing the fuel, uh, what else are you doing? A uh, this and then this is the sending the temperatures as well, um, back to the back to blinked for the monitoring, and then of course there's the main monitoring loop, which actually checks the temperature, uh, and again if it's over temperature or under temperature, it correctly sends the RF signal off, sends the RF signal uh, back on again. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then one strange thing, I've never used Blink before, it's my first time using the app, but you're not meant to have anything in the void, in the loop, in the main loop, which is why that's nice and clean. So like I say, I will do a full write-up of this um, if there's interest out there. Um, probably if there's not anyway, just for fun. So thanks for watching. Cheers.